Hi there, I'm Janet Fritz for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. I am starting this video out a little differently than normal. Um, I am just sharing with you some of the product that I'm going to use. I won this product from the Confessions of a Paper Addict Facebook group. Um, Virginia was launching her Etsy shop, which is uh, C-O-A-P-A -A Cut Files. And um, during the launch, she had several challenges going on, and I participated in most of them. And I won a prize pack, and it came with a whole bunch of goodies from Rosie's Studio, which um, I had not heard of before, and I believe they are a New Zealand company. Um, and anyway, I got this paper pad, and I'm going to use papers out of this today. And then I got these butterflies, which are um, popped up kind of 3D. So I'm going to probably use some of those. Some words that say always amazing, believe in magic, oh so lovely, um, happy birthday. I'm not going to use happy birthday, but um, not today anyway. So I might use some of those. Um, some die cut shapes and it comes with all of these goodies. So there's like feathers and florals and um, little word phrases. There's a blue flamingo, a butterfly, some tags, some little houses. Um, so I might pull in some of that and um, I, we'll see where I go from there. And I'm using this picture of my daughter with these bug glasses on. So I'm going to put you on fast forward, but I did want to share these new items that I got with you guys. I don't know if you've seen them before, but they are really beautiful. Um, I can go through a little bit of the paper pad here. It's got a really pretty like rose gold um, foiled finish. I really like this paper. I know it's very simple, but I really like it. So I think I'm going to use this wood grain. Um, it's got all kinds of beautiful stuff in it. So that's my goal. I'm going to go ahead and put you on fast forward and we'll see what I can do. I'm going to start with this sketch from Sketches in Time by Rochelle Spears. And this was one that we used for uh, Redefined Creative and the Secret Not Secret Kit Club on their public page. It's their Thursday night sketch from this current week. And um, I'm starting with a photo that was originally a 5x7, but I am going to trim it down to be a 5x6 because I want my titling to be on the right-hand side of the page. And because the photo's in a landscape... Um, direction it was going to run into the title work. So I went ahead and trimmed it down and not only that but the photo didn't really have anything on that right hand side that I needed in it. It's just a lot of background. Um, so I didn't feel bad about cutting into it and trimming it down. Now the photo is from 2006 and it is my daughter wearing these bug goggles that she got for Christmas and my story is not anything about the uh, Christmas or Christmas gift or anything like that. It's basically about my daughter's love for bugs when she was little. And so my title is going to read, This Girl Loves Her Bugs. And uh, the journaling is about how how she had such a really big heart and how I really um, encouraged that and really wanted her to continue that um, as she got older. But her, her heart for animals and all the way down to the littlest bug was like such an amazing thing. She would take the snails from the front yard and put them in her brother's cars and roll them down the slides because she was giving them a ride. She'd create terrariums um, and then she'd create little habitats in pie tins for them for all kinds of bugs. And I remember when my dad would get out some bug killer to put in his garden and she'd see the bag there, she would just cry and um, and be really upset with grandpa for killing the bugs. So anyway, that's what the story is about. I'm using these really big thickers and um, the really huge colorful ones are called Trinket. They're really old, um, but I really like them and they work perfectly for this layout. The colors were just right. And then the one that says loves is uh, from a package. I want to say they're Amy Tangerine, but I could be wrong on that. And they're just a bunch of different phrases. And I took the word love and then there was um, the word is, is and I cut off the I and added the S to loves or to love. So it reads loves and you can barely tell when I piece it together. 
so um, I think that's perfect. And then I have those Scrabble tile um, thickers that are super old as well. I'm, and these ones, I'm not joking, they are so old that they do not come off of the paper backing. And so I have had to cut them apart. If you try and pull them off of the paper backing, the chipboard just uh, peels off in pieces. But they, they were the perfect size and the perfect shape for this layout. So I went ahead and took the time to cut them apart. Um, I don't show all of that in the video because it was kind of a pain, pain and a waste of time for you to see me cutting letters apart. Um, and then I also don't show you all of the inking, but I inked all of my papers in walnut stain. And so uh, you'll see me start that process, but I don't, I don't make you sit through the whole thing. <laughs> Um, so the sketch has some large layers of paper and then there's like a frame piece that goes off to the left hand side. I omitted the frame um, from my layout. It's a large frame. I omitted it from my layout because I didn't really have room for it and I moved my title down. Um, so this is really loosely based on that sketch. It's not exact. But I really like how it came out. And I'm using all these Rosie's Studio products. And I love them. They're, they are really beautiful. I'm So I just wanted to stick with the stuff that I got from, from the challenge that I won over at Confessions of a Paper Addict. And I really like the papers. I, they're really nice quality. So anyway, um, back to the layout. So... <laughs> I'm using these tiny scissors because I have lost my scissors on my desk that I normally use. Um, they're here somewhere and will turn up eventually. And then I'm using the thicker alignment guide to get my letters straight across and I'll use my T-square ruler to kind of help me out with that. And because the letters, um, the little tile letters are cut apart rather than peeled off, there is no adhesive on the back, so I'm going to end up using my glue for that and because these other ones are chipboard I use glue on those as well because uh, if you bend your page at all the chipboard ones tend to pop off so I'm just using that tonic deluxe adhesive glue and it's working great for that now this striped paper reminds me of notebook paper I know it's not notebook paper and the lines are heavier and they're um, not evenly spaced but it kind of gives me that feel of notebook paper and if I wanted to use that to capture my journaling so I went ahead and punched it with a notepad punch and I have two of those notepad punches one has more of a square hole at the top or a square hole for the rings to go through and the other one is more round this is the square one um, so I'm gonna try and leave as much space as possible around the photo to be able to journal on those lines. Now I know the journaling is going to take up quite a bit of room so um, my photo is covering a lot of that paper but I'm going to squeeze it in and see if it can work. And then I thought that I needed a little bit of a darker layer behind some of these lighter layers on the left hand side so I pulled that really pretty floral and you're only going to see a little sliver of it but I thought it was the perfect addition to balance the heavy darkness on the right hand side. Um, so I'm going to add that little bit to my layers. And of course I inked all of those as well. And then I fiddle around with where my layers are. I don't want the pink paper too close to the L and loves. And then when I add the black paper I don't want it to the corners to match up perfectly with the layers below it. So I kind of play around with those and you're going to see that here. Um, I eventually will cut that paper in half and have a little bit on each side of that notebook style paper that I've created. Now I'm not going to make you watch me adhere everything down. The layers are going down pretty much as they are right here. And um, I didn't think you needed to sit through me adhering everything. So um, I'm going to get those adhered down and then I'm going to start working on embellishments. So another thing that I did with this particular um, 
layout is that it was a challenge for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club, uh, their online crop weekend. So every month they offer an online party, which is, they've got tons of challenges going on all weekend long. Um, and so one of them was a grab five challenge and one of the items in the grab five was washi tape. So I just added that little strip of washi tape. Um, I believe it was pattern paper, washi tape, sequins, um, thickers, and I can't remember what the fifth item was. Um, <laughs> and do I have it written down here? I don't have it written down. Anyway, so I went ahead and used the five items that were required, and um, that's why I added the washi tape, but I, it was a nice addition, and it's just like a little wood grain chevron washi tape, which I really like, and it, it adds a lot to this. So I, to I toyed with the idea of adding these wooden bugs, they're wood veneer bugs, and I didn't have three different styles that I really liked. I had like butterfly, a dragonfly, and a beetle. I was hoping more for like three different kinds of beetle bugs, but um, I was going to add them and then I decided, you know, I'm just going to leave them off. I really liked how the butterflies looked, so I went with the butterflies rather than mixing the wood grain with the butterflies. I knew I wanted to, to play with those butterflies a little bit, so that's why I opted for the butterflies instead. Now this ephemera pack, or um, I guess they call it a die cut pack, I don't know. This is also from Rosie Studio. It has like 109 pieces or something ridiculous like that in it. It's a lot of stuff. And I think there's at least two of every item in there. So um, I kind of sorted through those, pulled a few things out that I thought would work really well. And I wanted to pull in a little bit of the the bluish colors that were in the letters from the title over to the opposite side of the page. So that's why I opted to put the blue one on the blue circle die cut on the far left instead of closer to the title. And um, the green strip of paper that is all the way to the left, I wanted to add some green in because those goggles are bright green and so um, the photo is also backed in that paper so it all kind of ties it all together. I'm just about done with the layout. I'm just going to add some sequins in little triangles around each of the butterflies and I really like how it kind of just adds to the sparkle of it. It was also one of the grab five items um, I wish I could remember what that fifth item was. I think I wrote it down, but I cannot find the paper. So my apologies for that. Lastly, I'm going to add a little bit of Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold around each of the little embellishment clusters. And that's going to pretty much finish off this layout. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Um, I do have kind of a special layout coming up for next Sunday. So I hope you will watch that. Um, like and subscribe down below, and I will see you next time. Stick around for the close-ups. They're coming up in just a few moments.